when you've trained your machine learning model using PyTorch, which is a machine learning Python library, um, what you might realize is that you've gotten this output file, which is a .pt file, meaning PyTorch. And this .pt file will be the, the contents of the, of the conclusion or result of your, of your training process, which is, for example, the learning parameters. Right, so you have this this .pt file, which could also be within the the weights folder, right? So this .pt file is used to to infer, right? So you you create this model, you get some weights, and the entire job of this model is to infer. So you give us some input, it'll give you some output. Um, when we're working with our Raspberry Pi, we will typically have this AI hat on top. If yeah, you can afford it, it's pretty cheap, seventy dollars. And what this AI hat allows us to do is it allows us to have a higher capacity for computation, right? However, what's pretty annoying uh, with the specific AI hat, the Halo hat, is that it does not run this .pt, right? It does not support that um, sort of file. So what you're forced to do is that you're forced to convert that .pt file over to ONNX, ONNX meaning Open Neural Network Exchange. Um, and in front of me, we have this uh, terminal open or Vim open within our terminal. Um, just showing a very easy script on how we can do this as it's, it is supported within the PyTorch library. So you import the torch, import the torch.onnx, uh, which is open neural network exchange. And then from our torch vision, we're gonna import models. We're going to, so that we have pre-trained it, we're gonna evaluate the model. We're gonna give some dummy input. And this dummy input is telling our model what sort of input we've given uh, this model when we've trained it, right? Then we give this uh, ONX file path. And at last, we're going to export our model with dummy input, the file path, and other parameters, which you find relevant. At last, then it will convert this um, .pt over to a .onnx. When you have this .onnx, you can at last translate it over to a .ehef file. And you might ask, what's a .hef file? And a .hef file is a Halo um, exported format or export format, uh, meaning that we are uh, at last able to actually use our weights within our Halo um, Halo environment. And to use our .hef file, we need to have a Halo user account set up. And they state that in the installation guides. Over here, you have this um, guide, which I also post in the description, which gives you this example when you create a person face detection model. Right? They also, you can also utilize these Docker images. If you don't know Docker, it's a way you containerize code. Pretty simple. They also have some instruction over here, um, as well as the NVIDIA Docker. And what you'll see is that you can compile the model using Halo Model Zoo. And as I uh, as Afro mentioned, we need a user account within Halo to uh, to be use their Halo model zoo to have access to their virtual environment. And over here, it's basically just telling you what YAML file that you should use. YAML meaning a yet another markup language. Um, and once you have these weights, right? You can see over here export to ONX. Um, you can see Python models export.py, and then you give it the weights. Um, our PT, our PyTorch, and then you're basically just telling it what size you'll be working with and what batch sizes, right? And at last, you can use our our Halo compile to at last compile it with the uh, with the Halo model zoo. When I have given the the confirmation that my user has been created and I finally figure out how to do it concretely, then I will make sure to make a view on it. But it was pretty it was pretty funny to to go through the the developer community and seeing that the, the documentation is just weak. It's it's weak documentation, you know, especially it's pretty funny. This is the first time I've experienced me having to buy a hardware and then have to sign up to actually use some software for that hardware. Um, Cause if I don't, if, <laughs> if I don't, then uh, you will, you can't really use it, can you? Um, they do have some pretty good guides on how to run some examples that they have created. But when you actually want to, you know, use your pre-existing models and have to, um, to create this synergy between your model and the Halo software, it becomes pretty tough. Um, they also have this dedicated community.halo.ai, which I'll also post in, in the description. But yeah, so that's just, um, I wish someone would clear that up for me as it was very hard to find this on YouTube. So when you have to, when you want to use Halo 
for your model, you need to first convert it to ONNX and thereafter to .hef. And I'm sure, I'm hoping that they'll come with more uh, updated guides on how we can do this. But once I learn how to, I will make sure to, to create a very thorough step-by-step -step guide.